Hey everybody, Kovaz here with my UI video. Some people have been asking for a list of all of my add-ons and macros, and this video will have all of that, including everything that you will need in order to copy my add-on settings as well. All right, so let's get started. In the description of this video, I have shared a Google Drive folder, and within that folder, it has a list of everything that you will need, including export strings, Lua files, and a list of all of my macros. First things first, you're going to want to go through and install every add-on that I have listed in the Google Doc. You can do this either through direct links that I've provided to Curse and other add-on websites, or you can use clients such as WowUp or the Curse add-on client in order to install them that way. Once all of your add-ons are installed and enabled, the first one that you will want to import settings into will be LVUI. This add-on is the backbone to my UI, and most of my other add-ons will anchor themselves based on your LVUI settings. In order to copy all of my LVUI settings, you will first want to hit Escape, and then navigate to your LVUI options. Once you have found your LVUI options, you will want to go to Profiles in the bottom left, and then click Import Profile in the top right. Once you have this screen open, you will want to go to the Google Doc and open the paste files for LVUI. These do need to be imported in a specific order. You will want to import the profile settings first, then the account settings, and then the character settings. In order to import these settings, all you do is open the paste that was provided in the Google Doc, copy the text that is inside of it, and then paste that text into this box and hit enter and close. Then simply repeat this process for the next two settings. Next up on the list to copy is an add-on called Tell Me When, and it is what I use for all of my spell cooldowns. In order to import to Tell Me When, you will simply want to right-click any Tell Me When square that is open after typing slash TMW, and then navigate your way down to the import slash export slash restore. All you'll need to do is open the Google Doc, copy the paste for the global settings first, and then paste that into this line right here and hit enter. Once you've done that, simply repeat the process, this time doing the hunter specific profile. Once your tell me when settings are completely imported, simply type slash TMW again in order to hide them. If you find yourself wanting to edit any of these tell me when boxes or simply removing them, all you need to do is right click them. And then this one, for instance, shows the cooldown on my cape. And if you wanted, you could just disable it by clicking that box. Or if you're not an engineer and you use goblin gliders, you simply change this from slot 15 to goblin glider and then press enter. In order to have tell me when properly track your trinket cooldowns, you will need to use these two boxes right here. And this is actually two sets of four stacked on top of each other. And so if you right click the top one, will be where you enter the name of the proc from your trinket. And then if you right click and click the bottom one, this is where you put the slot that the trinket is in. So for me, since I use an on use trinket in slot 14, under the cooldown, I put slot 14. And then for the proc to track, it is called gladiator's badge. I have other trinkets listed here as well. And these are all of my on use trinkets that I may use. And I put all of them in slot 14. So no matter which trinket I'm using, it will display correctly. If the only portion of Tell Me When that you would like to copy is the Hunter ability and cooldown procs, simply only import the Hunter specific profile string. Next up are my weak auras. Now I only use two main weak auras, one being my focus bar, and then another being a general UI display. In order to import a new weak aura, simply type slash WA. Up in the top left, click import and then paste the string which you will find in the Google Doc provided in the description of this video. My Hunter specific weak aura is a focus bar which has an indicator for the minimum amount of focus which you will need in order to cast aim shot and that will be shown with a small red line. The second group of weak auras that I have available is my default displays. This includes info on your battle reses available, the timer remaining on your battle reses, and a history of which battle reses were used on who. On the far left, it displays your current agility, crit, haste, mastery, and verse percentages. Next to the battle res displays, there will be two number displays. The first of which shows the estimated time until the boss that you are currently on dies when you are in a raid. And the other shows the estimated time which it will take for your current targets to die based on the rate that it is currently dying. The second to last add-on which we will be copying by using import strings is threat plates. 
In order to pull up your threat plate options, simply type slash TP TP and enter. From here, you will navigate to the top right tab called Profiles, and then hit Import Profile. You will then copy the export string provided in the paste link that is found in the Google Doc that is in the description of this video. Once you've copied that text, simply paste it here, hit Enter, and close the window. And the final add-on which we will be copying by using an import string is Details. In order to pull up your Details options, simply type slash Details Options. From there, you will want to navigate to the Profiles tab, which is in the middle on the left-hand side. Then, once again, you will click Import Profile, navigate to the Google Doc that it was provided in the description of this video, open the paste that is listed under Details, copy the text, and paste it in here, and then hit OK. Once you have successfully imported all of the add-ons which I have provided import strings for, we will then need to copy the remaining add-ons by using Lua files. In order to do this, you must first log out of the game and then completely exit World of Warcraft. Next, I will be showing you how to replace add-ons which require a Lua folder to copy their settings. With your World of Warcraft completely closed, navigate to your World of Warcraft folder, go to Retail, WTF, Account, select your WoW account, and then go to Saved Variables. This is where the settings for all of your add-ons in game are saved and they are saved in two ways. The first is a Lua file and the second is a backup file. In order to properly copy the settings for the add-ons which I have provided Lua files for, you will need to delete both the Lua file and the BAK file associated with that add-on. For instance, if I was going to replace my bartender 4, I would highlight both and delete. And then once they were deleted, you simply drag the Bartender 4 Lua file that I provided into this folder, and the settings should be saved. Then simply repeat this for every add-on which I provided a Lua file for. Once this is done, close out the folder, and reopen your World of Warcraft. Once you have replaced all of the old Lua files with the Lua files that I provided for you, you should log back onto World of Warcraft, and from there, navigate to each add-on individually, go to the Profiles page in the settings for that add-on, and then make sure to select the profile which all of my settings are saved under, which will usually be called Default. Along with my more prominent add-ons, I've also included a list of add-ons which I would recommend that have a smaller role in my UI. These can be found at the bottom of the same Google Doc that had all the export strings for the add-ons like LVUI, Tell Me When, Weak Auras, and Threat Plates. Also included in the shared Google Drive folder is a list of all of the macros that I think will be most useful to you, as well as a brief description of what the macro does. Do please be aware that not all settings will import perfectly. Different screen resolutions will cause some add-ons to have different placements on your screen than they appear on mine. You will need to manually move these add-ons to where you want them, and I apologize, but there is no easier solution. If you have any questions, problems or need clarification on anything, please do reach out to me in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you quickly.